Sagittarius, hello. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to jump right into the message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Sagittarius. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Don't build a story if it's not resonating for you, meaning that you feel it in your body like, oh my God, she's talking to me. Okay, check with your other placements, your moon sign, your rising sign, any of the other zodiac that stand out to you. Or if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is be the change 333.com. All of my information, my website and social media, other social media pages are in the description box below the video. Just click on the word more and everything will drop down for you. Don't forget to also click, if you are subscribed, please click the notification bell so that you are notified when I go live and when I upload new content. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but it's always nice to at least have that as, um, you know, the more and more people that do that, we might have the option of making it work. Anyway, Sag, let's get into the message for you. What is the message for Sagittarius, please? Thank you. Boy, this is a popular card today. When I lean toward love, I am led. So many of us have gone through many tests and challenges, especially through Pisces season, Saturn's in Pisces. Um, Mercury has just moved into Aries, about to station pre-shadow for retrograde. We could find ourselves in our head, in our minds too much, or just really focused on whatever emotion is being brought up from these tests and challenges, whether it's fear or anger or um, whatever it is. So once you gain the wisdom and the knowledge that you're meant to through these tests and challenges, you want to reconnect to your heart, reconnect to love. You will find your guidance again. You will find your connection to your higher self and to the universal energies that direct and guide us through our journey. All right. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Message for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Giving from the heart. Ooh, wow. Okay. Big time. All right. I, they, I usually don't look at the bottom, but I heard look at the bottom. The bottom is gossip. So if you are dealing with somebody else's gossip, or if maybe you have a habit of talking about other people behind their back, <laughs> um, stop it. <laughs> but um, most likely, so the first message is giving from the heart. And I think that you're starting to recognize that... In your past, you would give of your time, your energy, your love, whatever. But there was always an underlying intention or ulterior motive there. And usually that is to either be liked and accepted. Um, it is to keep the peace. Um, or to get something out of it in return, which there's nothing wrong with that. But when we want to give from the heart, that's that's a whole different experience. That is an incredible experience that um, is a win-win. So when you practice giving from the heart, giving because you have it to give, you have extra. You, you fill your own cup up first, and then you have extra to give. That um, exchange is a beautiful exchange. We also have near-death experience. In quote, in yeah, uh, parentheses here, it says annihilation of old self, old life. Oh yeah, that sounds like a test and a challenge, but truly it's part of the evolutionary process. Doesn't necessarily mean, like some of you could literally have a near-death experience. Um, I've had them 
and it does change your perception and your outlook on yourself and on life. Um, but even just having this experience as the, uh, you know, they call it the ego death. The, the ego doesn't die, but the parts within the self that no longer serve to, and have may maybe um, brought us down the wrong paths, that part of the persona or the ego is has had a near-death experience, is being annihilated. <laughs> All right. And there are a lot of triggers to the ego recently. And a lot of this, in the month of March, the ego will be triggered big time, as well as the spiritual ego. So check yourself. We're all getting triggered. All right, tell me more. Tell me more. For Sagittarius, disruption, accelerated motion, yeah, something's cracking you open, suffering in silence, universe, whoo boy, Sagittarius, this, this experience is going to change, it's a game changer for you, it's going to change your relationships to others in a big way, especially when you begin truly giving from the heart. We have disruption as the first card out. So something definitely is cracking you wide open, disrupting the old self and the old life, rattling the cage. This is good. This is good. And things are moving fast, accelerated motion. So this energy is fast moving. It comes in quick. It's humbling. Brings us to our knees, to humility. Uh, well, we're going to dive into suffering in silence a little bit more, but uh, I think you're getting a good glimpse at um, maybe how some old parts or versions or ego aspects of yourself, the parts of you that are being annihilated, um, were covering up deeper layers of suffering in silence. So you weren't able to release that. So now the universe comes in and says, okay, Sag, we're going to have to crack you open more so that you can finally see that there's no need to suffer in silence any longer. <laughs> My cat is wanting to come in. <laughs> Tell me about disruption for Sagittarius, please. Okay, all about those hard choices and maybe, you know, making the wrong choice or having, uh, okay, anything else? Okay, oh, okay, okay, beautiful. And even if these are choices in relationships, choices in um, who we spend our time with, who we're giving of our time and energy. Ah, you're getting a good lesson on that. It's cracking you open. Discernment is key here. And things may not have been moving fast enough in the in the past, but uh, we're getting some accelerated motion here. We have the chariot as well. High Priestess along with the Six of Swords. So you are being guided. You are being led. Whether you're aware of it or not, pay attention to the signs. You have uh, spirit guides. You have a whole team. And you may also have people here on the ground floor. They are waking up the high priestess within you. This is um, your deepest, darkest secrets too. The high priestess can be, but this is also your innate ability to feel your way through um, some pretty rocky and, and shaky waters or emotions here. Chariot is pushing you forward. 
no longer suffering in silence, Sagittarius, regardless what this is. We have the universe working in your favor. Universal forces, you can't make it up. Oh my, we have the Empress below that. So overall, you're birthing something new, a new version of you, a new life for yourself. You're very fertile. It is almost time. Nurture yourself. Take good care of yourself. Give yourself the love and the patience and the understanding and the compassion that is needed to go through the process of being cracked open. Be very discerning as well. There could be a lot of tests flying around for you. We're going to get you one last message, Sagittarius, from the Shamanic heal Healing Oracle here. And don't forget to click the like button if you are liking the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all who do take the time to do this. It does help support me and the channel. Feel free to comment. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, Sagittarius. What's the advice for Sagittarius? We have healing energy. Beautiful. Yeah. Whenever we get annihilated, then comes the healing energy here. The healing energy of the universe, of Mother Earth herself. There's death and rebirth below that. So you're going through a big change. Big change. Breathe through it. Use discernment. Give yourself love and compassion. You're learning to give from the heart and not give as a codependent pattern codependency pattern or self-protection or self-preservation or any of that stuff healing energy drawing this card guides you to work with energy on a healing level take a class go and receive a reiki healing or just sit in meditation and concentrate on mindfulness with the healing energy of divine love you do not have to know how to do anything just sit quietly set your intention and let creator's love fill you up. When you are living in a vibration of healing, you are not only affecting yourself, but those around you. Others then can connect with your energy and their vibrations can rise as a result. There is no force to this. This is basically how energy works. Your vibrational charge will affect, will affect change in the ones you are close to. Alternately, this card signifies healing is taking place within a relationship which it could be both it could be both Sagittarius we have a lot of relationship energy coming up uh for healing as well so that's what I have for you this week I hope that you found this to be helpful for you and I'm sending you out so much love take care bye